Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good Wednesday morning. This is Kathy Barks for LUTG Radio. Amen. Glory to God. Jesus absolutely loves you, beloved, and he truly, truly only wants the best for you. His best comes with his uh, salvation. Amen. Jehovah's best begins with his son, Jesus. Jesus is the face of God. Jehovah, the Father. Amen. Praise the Lord. 30, Psalm 37 and 4 says, Delight thyself in the Lord, and he will give thee the desires of thine heart. Trust in the Lord. I'm sorry. Uh, take delight in the Lord, and he will give you your heart's desires. Amen. Praise the Lord. Remember to put the word before your eyes daily. It's so important. It's nourishment to you. Uh, um, Matthew chapter 6, the Lord's Prayer, the one we say every morning. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus absolutely loves you, beloved. He truly, truly does. Hey, um, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Read your Bible, put your word before your sight daily. I said that already. Oh, today is uh, October this um, October. This. Today is November 6, 2013, and right now it's about 6.03 in the morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. All right, let's pull up our scriptures. I do apologize for yawning in your ear. Amen. Jesus loves you, beloved. You know how sometimes you want to do, do, do for people, but you just don't have the money to do, 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 or the resources, or the favor? I know it's frustrating, because it's frustrating for me. I always want to do something for somebody, but I just don't have the money. I don't even have the money to do for myself, and you, you're wondering, why don't I do like Job's wife, you know, just curse the Lord and die? Well... Like Job, I still believe. So I can get mad or get angry about not having, but when it comes down to it, I still believe God. There, there is no change in that. I know that he lives. I know that he's alive. I know he's on the inside of me. I know his word is true. And I truly believe that Jesus died on the cross. I've seen Jesus with my own eyes. Jesus actually touched me with his own hand. So, I, I, don't, I don't know why I don't have enough. Uh, the only thing I do know is that anytime you're in lack, it's a spiritual thing. I mean, true enough, I do know some, I do, I do know some of the answers. But more than an answer, you need a solution. The only thing I know to do is to keep believing God. Have faith. Hebrews 11 and 1, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. John 3, 16 and 17, 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Mark 9.23 Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Deuteronomy 34 and 7 And Moses was a hundred and twenty years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated. Psalms 147 and 3 he healed the broken in heart and bind up their wounds, John 16 and 13. Howbeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him. And we will come unto him and make our abode with him. Galatians 3.13 and 14 Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, A curse is everyone that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. John 1.17 For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Genesis 12.1-3 now the Lord had said to Abram, Depart from thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house to a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing, and I will bless them that bless thee and curse them that curse thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Psalms 37 and 19. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Jesus absolutely loves you, beloved. His love for you is 100% eternal. Amen. He'll never leave or forsake you. And to uh, forsake means to abandon or forget you. He won't do that. You're like, well, why won't he do it? Why can't he do it? Because his breath lives in us. His word is alive in us. We are made up of his word. We're, we're a direct image of God, of Jesus. You can't forget something that you are or that is made up of you. It's impossible. You're like, oh, well, people have Alzheimer's disease and they forget their kids. Well, they have a disease. And Jesus doesn't. <laughs> Jesus is not subject uh, to sin or to fleshly issues. So, there you go. Amen. He's Lord. And so, weapons do not prosper against Jesus. And they cannot prosper against you as well. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Jehovah. Good morning, Holy Spirit. We receive the blessing of Abraham and the promise of Jesus to do more than he. Because Jesus went home to the Father. <clears throat> I do apologize one more Jesus went home to the Father thank you for this beautiful day we hear from God and I'll lay it by the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit fill our lives and surround us with your presence thank you Lord for your order the sacrifice of your son Jesus and his holy and perfect blood thank you for our comforter the Holy Spirit who leads us into all righteousness Thank you, Lord, for you are hope. We should keep your word in our hearts and minds. We should love you, Lord, with all our hearts, minds, souls, and strength. Today, Lord, we should honor you by loving our neighbors. We are blessed to be a blessing. Thank you, Lord, for giving us power and authority over the enemy. When the enemy of God comes against us, it shall suffer the wrath of God. The body of Christ stands on the word of faith, for it is our shield and buckler. Thank you, Lord, for every mountain is moved and every closed or blocked door that is hindered the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ is open. In your name, Jesus, we shall win every living soul and every soul to be born to the kingdom of God, decreasing hell and expanding heaven. Jesus, we love you and believe in your saving grace. Thank you, Lord, for every soul and every person boldly confessing and professing the gospel of Jesus Christ, receiving Jesus into their hearts and living to glorify God. Thank you, Lord, and Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eyes was not dim, nor his natural force abated. 
As Moses was so full with good health, so are we. We are healed in our bodies and minds. Any disease or virus that touches our bodies dies instantly. The addicted are delivered now. The hungry hunger no more. Our shoes are replenished and resources never exhausting. For you, Lord Jehovah, our husband made us rich. Your voice is the only one we follow. Your Holy Spirit leads us into all righteousness. We are always in the right place at the right time. We sow into good soil and reap abundantly. Everything we touch turns to gold. We sow seeds of faith daily and harvest seeds already sown. Jesus' good pleasure is our good pleasure. Our spirits and bodies are not dumping grounds. We decrease in unbelief in our minds and life. No weapons formed against us should prosper. We are the beloved, believing you love us and receiving your love, not subject to temptations. Submitting to your will, receiving your blessing in the name of your risen Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For we always have more than enough all the time. The kingdom of God is manifested in the earth among the redeemed people of God. God's people ask for his wisdom and receive it in abundance. God's people operate in the power of God. God's people have assured dwellings in quiet resting places. God's people are the created and matter in the earth. God's people light shines in all the earth with the help of the Holy Ghost and the angels of the kingdom of God. Jehovah our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. God's people are made to live according to God's world that one man cannot see. If God be for his people, who can be against us? No one. God's people do not take the attitude of defeat. Those who accept defeat do not know who they are, nor their position in the kingdom of heaven. We, the people of God, are the heads and not the tails, above and not beneath, going forward and not backwards, the beloved and the sign of God. We count it all joy and go up against the giant. We ask God for wisdom. We ask God for wisdom and receive it abundantly, standing on the word of the kingdom for all things. We as God's people stand on the word of God and always believe lines up with the word of God by his divine righteous order. God brings us his people health and healing and reveals to us the abundance of peace and truth. The hope God gives us is achieved and manifested in the earth. We worship God of our own free will, not by force or shame, but by love and honor in the name of God's risen son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. In John 14 and 12, Jesus says to his disciples, Most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also in greater works than these. He will do because I go to my Father. Amen. Um, this this month uh, from October to December is a time of uh, giving uh, to charity, where you uh, select on your paychecks what you want to give, and they'll draw it out automatically for those companies that have that set up like that. Or you can do it directly um, from your checking account. Uh, send them a donation every month or every paycheck. It's something good because it, it helps out the homeless. It helps out uh, women and children uh, that need to escape uh, a tragic situation or that are homeless. It helps um, those that are sick. Maybe they going. Maybe it's uh, for breast cancer. Well, that option is available on uh, LUTG Radio Network. It's called Charity USA. Normally, I don't uh, plug those things uh, during this first segment, but. Because it is for charity, because it does help others, um, please consider doing that. It's called Charity USA on LUTGRadioNetwork.com. And also, uh, let's say if you don't have any money, but maybe you got some extra coats or clothes that you can't fit or your kids can't fit anymore, but they're in, they're in good condition. Take them, if you're in Chicago, take them over to the Primo Center. Uh, you can look that up online. Uh, I'll put that uh, on the uh, website as well, but uh, it's called the Primo Center, and uh, they help women and children. They help. It's uh, PrimoCenter.org. Primo Center. It's P R I M O Center C E E N T E R dot O R G, and they help women and children. And um, so, if you got coats. Uh, or if you got like dishes, they really could use some dishes. If you got some plates and cups and spoons, silverware, forks, knives, you know, butter knives, um, they could really use some dishes, um, clothes. They could use some blankets. Uh, some new blankets would be great. Because I know you guys, a lot of you guys buy comforters and things, and you don't even use them. They just fill in the bag, fill in a zip bag. So uh, if you're not using it, you, you know, maybe the kids are all gone or whatnot, definitely consider giving it to a Primo Center. And if you're not in Illinois or, or you're not close to Chicago, uh, go to your local uh, Salvation Army or Goodwill and donate uh, clothes, you know, things in good condition there. 
and uh, they'll get it to uh, maybe families that have had a fire or uh, the different women's and men's shelters because the Salvation Army does provide for men and women that are homeless or that are uh, going through an addiction program and they, they need a little bit of help so um, definitely consider giving uh, give what you can give out of your abundance and that just means to give what you, you know, give what you have. Give what you are able to give. Amen. Let's give God some praise while we're doing this giving. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. He is stronghold. Answer the call. Praise the Lord. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, folded over, and running together, and shall men give into your bosom. That's a summary. Uh, <laughs> you, that's a summary. Anyway, here you go. Answer the call.
loves the sound of your voice. He loves it when we tell him how great he is. Come He loves the way it sounds. Lord, lift those hands and say, one more time all over this room tonight. You are. Stand that you deserve the highest praise, Lord. So we praise you. Everything we have, all the hearts, all the mind, all the soul, Lord. Hallelujah. Lift those hands tonight and say, sing a love song to him. Oh, if you love him, sing it tonight. You're so awesome. Hallelujah. There's nobody greater than you, Lord. You are Lord. And Lord, you are awesome. So we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Praise with all. Praise with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. That scripture, I just opened it up and then accidentally threw it away. That scripture that I was uh, trying to quote from you, for, from you, for you, is um the book of uh, Luke, chapter 6, verse 38. You guys hear it all the time when you're in church. That's one of the pastor's favorite scriptures for uh, giving. They try and give you a prayer message. They give you a word message for uh, giving and sowing your tithes, telling you that you're going to get something in return. So some people don't like to give, or some people don't understand giving. But it goes like this. This is Jesus speaking. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and running over shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet, with all it shall be measured unto you. So what you give will be given back. So uh, get yourself on down there to those uh, places that need help. 
Uh, some of them need volunteers, so don't wait till Thanksgiving Day to volunteer. Volunteer now. Amen. If you can, I know some of y'all ain't got the gas to go, or you ain't got the bus fare to get down there. But um, ask them if they'll pick you up. Say, hey, if you'll pick me up, I'll volunteer. And they may just send a, a bus to get a group of people, you know. And uh, organizations be willing to pick them up. If they're willing to help you out for free, please be willing to pick them up. I mean, if you got the five bucks for gas, to go pick them up and drop them back off, please, you know. All right. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Jesus absolutely 100% loves you, beloved. And he only wants the best for you. And like I said before, that begins with the salvation. Amen. Jesus became a uh, sacrifice for us on the cross so that we wouldn't have to pay the price uh, for our sin. So, uh, salvation is free. It's yours for the having. If you like to receive Jesus Christ into your heart and receive forgiveness of your sins. Now is the time. Repeat this prayer confession after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sin before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you <clears throat> I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved, and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place, and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus with evidence of speaking in tongues. For the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Jesus absolutely loves you, beloved. His love for you is true. Go to uh, LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Click on the link, find a church. I forgot to say congratulations. Congratulations. Click on the link, find a church. Get baptized at water. Take your foundation class, your prayer intercessory class. Read your Bible every day. I'll start off with the book of John, chapter 1, verse 1, and read a chapter, at least one chapter a day. And um, know that Jesus loves you. And follow me to segment number two, which is my peace. Yeah. There we go. All right. Amen, amen, amen. Congratulations. Selfish life, selfish life, they love me. 